What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master here on this Wednesday, July 13th, 2022 date, about 12.15 p.m. Uh, California time here along the west coast. A 1.7 earthquake into the region of Southern California. Uh, looks to be the latest quake here on the globe there, the green flag. Let's go ahead and look at the activity across the USGS map here. Uh, where we're, of course we did see quite a bit of activity ramping up yesterday around the east pacific rise seeing uh, quite a few large quakes in this mix here including a 6.8 uh, it's been quite a while since we've had any large scale movement here in this area but uh, yesterday wow definitely ramped up pretty significantly uh, we haven't seen too much activity today in this region but we have seen some subsequent activity due to this uh, fault system out here this plate boundary uh, as I noted uh, on the uh, update last night, this is a, a divergent boundary spreading center. Uh, so basically these two faults here, these two plate boundaries are moving, uh, or this plate boundary is moving apart in e opposite directions. Uh, the best way I can show you is probably through this map right here. You got the Pacific plate and the Nazca plate, kind of right there where these arrows are. Um, this whole plate system just kind of separates there. And ultimately pressure should technically increase uh, in a couple different uh, areas. Uh, one should be around this region here in the Kermadec Trench area. Uh, and then the ob obvious one should be along the South America region. And that's kind of what's going on today. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up, let me zoom in a little bit closer and show you guys this activity. So following all this activity yesterday here around the Easter Island area, we've seen that subsequent adjustment here directly almost directly due east so you guys see that look at these uh here's the last earthquake here in easter island so since then we've seen one two three four earthquakes here um, in the subduction zone of the Prue chili trench completely opposite of this uh, earthquake activity gotta remember when this is kind of lifting up or or separating right this this east rift zone east pacific rise area ultimately adding pressure further um, and thousands of miles away uh, to the east here along the South America region. So with this activity today in the uh, Peru area, underneath Peru, we've seen uh, so far the largest a 5.5. Uh, looks like a um, couple fives in there and some upper fours in the mix. So got to watch that pretty closely. Um, again, all this activity here in South America occurring uh, directly after the East Pacific rise movement. Uh, we also seen some activity kind of ramping its way up here into the western part of the United States. This here is a 2.5 map and above. Kind of uh, somewhat active here in Southern California. We had one earthquake off the coast of the San Diego area, 3.6 at five kilometers. Pretty shallow movement. Looks like it's just off the uh, San Clemente fault zone uh, by a couple miles. I think there's a few more faults out here, but this one relatively shallow. Uh, we did have one earthquake down here on the San Jacinto Fault area, 3.3. Again, the all magnitudes map though will show quite a bit more activity um, in that area. We'll go ahead and pull that up uh, for the all magnitudes. And that kind of shows everything below the 2.5 threshold. Around the Borrego Springs is where all this activity is kind of kicking up here. Uh, seen quite a cluster of earthquakes, about 16 or so within this region. Mostly, um, uh, most of them around 10 to 11 kilometers below the surface here in this area. This is in between, uh, there's a couple different fragments here of the, or sections I should say, of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Very active area uh, in terms of daily movement and also microquake activity in any given uh, time period. Uh, but they do get some larger earthquakes on occasion, but today just quite a few microquakes in the area of the uh, Borrego Springs region. Salton Sea area, I've seen one little earthquake here, 1.2 just outside the Salton City area. Uh, no major swarms to note here on the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault or the Brawley Seismic Zone or the Imperial Fault. I'm not seeing any type of swarming going on there in the Mexicali area as we had oh, a few days ago. Things kind of, kind of mellowing out here in the Ridgecrest area up here around the Long Valley Super Volcano. Yeah, a little bit of swarming still occurring, but kind of southwest of the area that uh, 
we were kind of looking at um, you know as far as the swarming goes here a week or so ago so a little activity continuing there uh, up here in the Markleyville area got a couple earthquakes coming in as well this area has been swarming over the last couple days let me pull up the all magnitudes here and and it's kind of spotty I guess where we had a couple more earthquakes in this area maybe it was these right here but uh, today 2.5 and a 1.7 within that area of the Sierra Nevada eastern part of Sierra Nevada out here in Nevada uh, things still rocking and rolling a little bit around the uh, it's well south of Eureka Nevada I'd call this more just to the northeast of the Warm Springs Nevada region about 14 earthquakes uh, pretty shallow and then we got some that are pretty deep so a whole bunch of variables taking place here with the earthquake activity out there in the desert of Nevada one earthquake here in the uh, Hydesville California area this is a subduction zone quake along the Cascadia note the depth here of about 22 kilometers down dip uh, into the Cascadia mega thrust area down dip here underneath Northern California so a little activity ramping up there as well uh, let's see what we got around the Bay Area a little bit of movement uh, looks like just to the south of uh, the uh, Pacifica area these guys got one kilometer west of Pacifica that would put it out here somewhere wouldn't it but uh, either way a little activity striking along the um, well kind of looks like it's off the San Andreas fault system here uh, in between the San Andreas fault and this other fault uh, this other fault system here just a couple small microquakes nothing major going on there in the Bay Area outside of Salt Lake City Utah a couple earthquakes near the Summit Park in the Mount Pleasant area Mount Pleasant is actually uh, where's that at it's kind of down here right that was a 3.0 kind of out there in the middle of nowhere uh, Cedar Utah still seeing some activity uh, up into the Yellowstone area we're not seeing too much movement same for Oklahoma Texas nothing going on throughout the eastern part of the country let's go ahead and pull up the um, Yellowstone map here real quick we'll see what we got as far as activity goes or the lack of activity should be the better words a couple small earthquakes popping up here on the Maple Creek section or Maple Creek seismograph it's gonna be this one right here and a couple other very very small tiny ones out there uh, but overall, no major activity to take note of in the Yellowstone area of Wyoming. Puerto Rico area, a couple earthquakes today, about 15 or 15 or so. Uh, mostly confined here to the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico. Nothing going on up here around the Puerto Rico Trench today. Um, so just kind of a little, little quiet over there. Uh, Big Island of Hawaii. About the same, uh, about 15 earthquakes or so in the Pahala region. No major changes at the volcanoes to take note. Look at this lack of activity, kind of dwindling out here a little bit. Uh, this 5.0 struck, uh, let's see here, at 1500 UTC time. So about four to five hours ago was the last quake over here in this region. So um, it should start to see some further activity. Um, possibly over here along the west coast kind of like what we're continuing to see uh, along the California region and potentially some further activity into the Peru Chile trench area following that uh, movement yesterday so we'll definitely watch those couple areas um, unless something takes off here to the west uh, along the Philippine plate kind of looks like we're just at a standstill currently here in this area uh, a couple earthquakes out uh, along this area of the world looks like the uh, 4.9 here in the bay 10 kilometer depth default level pretty shallow out south of Yemen as well we've seen a, a 4.6 striking out there in the strait or in the uh, Gulf a little bit of activity coming into the Greece area as well a little 4.1 nothing going on out there in the Atlantic Ocean currently Things are just kind of uh, at a standstill. Go ahead and check out the, uh, bring this up, make sure I got the latest map here from the EMSC models. Roughly about the same here. Uh, looks like there may be a couple further earthquakes noted here in the South America region in the four range that the USGS is not showing. 
also a pretty good cluster. Uh, looks like around the Nicar uh, Nicaragua area, a couple fours kicking off there in the Middle America Trench. But uh, again, overall here, at least in this area, still looks relatively quiet for the four range. Um, it was a 4.7. This one um, from early this morning time frame. Not for sure why the USGS isn't showing that earthquake. Don't believe they were, right? Oh, maybe they were. Wow, okay, I must have missed that. 4.7 in the uh, Northern Mari Island, uh, Mariana Islands area. Let's see here. Alrighty, folks. Um, let's check the space weather events real quick here and We'll get moving, get the ball rolling, so to speak. Uh, these sunspots here, 3053, looks like it is decaying a little bit. Uh, 3055 still holds somewhat of a, somewhat of a credible threat for some flaring, but uh, man, 3057's looking uh, kind of uh, not spectacular in terms of producing a flare. Uh, looking at the current solar flare flux chart. Still crackling though here with sea flares quite a bit uh, over the past couple days. It's just been very consistent on the uh, background levels. Uh, these guys still showing a 99% chance of a sea flare, of course, M flare at about 40, 15% chance for an X flare, and 10% chance for protons being uh, expelled or produced. Uh, looks like a G1 class storm is expected later uh, tonight, I believe. A G1 class storm <clears throat> comes in at about 6 to 12 on the UTC time for July 13th, which would, uh, well, 6 to 12, that would definitely be, uh, would be past us already. So not for sure what's going on. I know yesterday we seen a little peak there in the KP index of the five range, but uh, either these guys got it all wrong far as the arrival goes or it's late been kind of seeing that recently here um, more frequently in terms of uh, you know lack of um, correct forecast but then again this is kind of hard to kind of kind of hard to forecast this type of stuff you know considering the uh, the uh, ingredients that you have to mix in to figure out if we're gonna get hit by a you know a solar storm or not so we will continue to watch it uh again these sunspots right here kind of there but they're not producing any major flaring but there is a, a little minor threat of some moderate uh, uh or some uh m flares in, in a couple of these sunspots but they are starting to turn away from earth so they better get busy if they're going to uh be geo effective right all right guys stay safe out there again um watch a couple areas like i say i think we're back building pretty significantly here uh where's the motion map here let me show you guys this general plate motion map uh here's the uh east rift zone pacific east rise zone right where we're seeing all that easter island activity the divergent boundary separating right and the floor producing pressure further along the south america region but also at the same time and that could be why we're kind of seeing uh little adjustment up here along the middle america trench uh, with that swarming so a couple definitely a couple different regions to watch here i know we haven't seen anything further kicking up here along the kermadec trench following this activity yesterday but um we'll watch it and of course report on it should anything pop off there all right guys world spinning backwards i better fix that correctly and uh we'll see you guys a little bit later tonight with the uh, update tonight a little, about seven or eight o'clock or so take care and we'll chat you guys then peace out everyone